Hello NGM, it's Tony from OnCyber and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up your own beautiful and immersive 3D art gallery. So OnCyber makes this super easy to do and you'll have a 3D gallery in under 5 minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is go to OnCyber.io and in the top right corner you'll see World Builder. Click that and it'll take you into the 3D studio. I already had a gallery made so I'm going to have to click on this drop down and create a new world. From here, you'll have a couple different paths to take, but for this video, we're just going to stick with building with a template. So since I'm going to be mainly showing off my art and photography collection, I'm going to select the last option, showcase art. Now you have a lot of templates to choose from, some free and some paid from the community. But for the simplicity of this video, we're just going to go with the classic white cube look. All right, great. Now we are in edit mode in our gallery. Think of this like the back end of your website. So from here, we have our left rail that shows you all the types of elements that you could add. And you could really build an immersive gallery here and there's tons of functionality. But for today, I'm going to just keep it simple and go for the traditional gallery look. So to start, I'm going to upload a few of my images from my computer. I'm going to go on the left rail here and hit the upload tab. And then I'm going to click to browse my files. I'm going to add this art piece as well as this one. And we make it easy to upload any JPEG, PNG, MP4, or even GLB file that you have on your computer and put it straight into your gallery. After it's been uploaded, I could drag it right onto the walls like so, or I could add it by clicking on one of the frames and then adding it like that. Okay, congratulations. Now we have some artworks inside of our gallery. If I click on the frame here, you'll see that I could resize it by dragging the corners. But in order to do that, you have to make sure that the advanced placement controls are disabled. If you enable those, you'll have a bit different of a look here. You'll have some arrows that let you move the placement and you could also rotate it here as well. And you could still edit the size with the slider. So I'm gonna put a nice little simple black frame on these artworks here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start curating the rest of this gallery. Okay, now that we've finally got our gallery curated, it's time to share it with the world. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is come up here to this little cogwheel and give the gallery the basics such as a title and a custom link. You could give it a description and also upload a custom banner for it as well. But for now, we're good with this. I'm going to hit save and it'll publish successfully. And now we have a public link that we can share with our friends or collectors or whoever you'd like to come and visit your gallery. You could hit explore now or preview in the top right and it'll take you to a live version. This is the live preview of the gallery we just built out. So simply share this link with your friends and give them a tour of your beautiful new creation. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you still have any other questions, just hop into our Discord, which I'll link in the description of this video, and we can get them taken care of. Also, drop a comment with any tutorial request that you might have. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.